there, welcome back to the Nail Chronicle. So in this first shot, you might notice that my nails are looking a little bit yellow, green kind of color. A few weeks ago, I did a um, nail polish design and ran into some issues where I had to essentially take off all the nail polish and start again. Um, I think I just hit a point where I was tired and completely forgot to put a base coat on or maybe I was just being lazy, I'm not sure. Probably more likely the latter. Um, and so I just went, I uh, stuff it, I'll put it on and it was a bright green polish and this is the end result. So lesson learned for you guys. This is why you wear a base coat, what base, um, coat underneath your polish to stop it coming through. The nudes like the one I'm putting on now is probably fine, but anything greens and blues and reds, they will seep through to your nails. Um, it's just the fun of it. So I have to wear nail polish at the moment, which is fine. I pretty much wear it all the time anyway. Um, anyway, so what I'm applying here is a polish by a brand called Natio. They're an Aussie brand. Um, and so the polish is called June. It's my only nude in my collection. I've done a, if you have a look on my blog, you'll see a review of the polish. It's a really good one. It's got high opacity. I could almost get away with wearing just one coat. I always do two just to make sure it's long lasting and to make sure that I haven't missed any spots and I've got full even coverage across all my nails. So moving on to the stamping plate component of this design, I used a um, my last Minology plate or my last plate that was unused. Uh, so this is really exciting. I finally can say I've used all of them with the exception of my Halloween plates. So my Halloween plates are a little bit more of a challenge um, because they are for a specific sort of holiday or theme. And so it makes it a bit harder to use. I'm going to see if I can find ways of incorporating it. Maybe a Friday the 13th sometime next year. So we'll see how we go with that one. Uh, so the plate number here is 606. And the full details will be in my blog post. Um, the uh, I used the Conair black stamping polish on this one because I wanted to make the image pop and by having the new polish underneath it sort of created a bit of a negative space so that it did really make the images stand out. I originally was going to use that textured design that you can sort of see towards the top of the plate there and as I was sort of planning out the design in my head and working out which uh, sort of image I wanted to put on my nail I found it just wasn't going to quite fit in with arrows and um, the little sort of diamond triangle shapes as well and I wanted to use that bow and arrow image that's on the plate so I decided that I would ditch the idea of using the textured image and just work on using the other images that were there and have a look at um, maybe creating something down the track. There's even the textured image that's down below that I could really see myself doing some reverse stamping in and putting some spots of colour in parts of it. So um, yeah, it's a plate for another time. But I did have a lot of fun creating the arrows and sort of being able to use more of the plate by moving away from my original design. So it just goes to show you, don't get stuck in your original ideas, try and be flexible. Uh, it just makes things a lot more fluid and a lot more relaxed when you are doing uh, your nail stamping or nail art. Um, and that's pretty much my non-Christmas design. I got a little bit sick of doing Christmas nail art and so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do something different. And this is what I ended up coming with. Um, and so for my thumb, I just decided to make that one the unique nail with the uh, bow and arrow stamped on it. So here's my final design. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. I won't be posting a video for a few weeks and I'll probably be a little bit quiet on my blog. So until next year, Happy New Year and I'll see you then. Bye.